Hello and welcome back to our EVE saga in my KSP career. We are continuing right from the previous episode. We have landed on Gilly and today we have twofold mission. First is to actually deploy the atmospheric lander, where, which we will not be landing on EVE this episode, uh, because we need to first detach and launch the relay satellite that will be relaying its data. So otherwise, what's the point of landing if you cannot communicate? So, uh, however, I didn't want to uh, burn entirely for the deorbit using the a uh, tiny booster that we have on top of the atmospheric lander, so I have decided to lovingly decrease the, you know, periapsis and apoapsis a little bit, just to figure out how much delta V we will need in order to be able to, you know, deploy the uh, deploy the lander. I'm just trying to see. Uh, it will be 1100, 1170. So I'm actually burning a little bit more to further decrease our. Uh, our apoapsis, yes. I, I, I reckon we have somewhere around eight to nine hundred ish meters per second in this top stage. So let's just now decouple it. There we go. Yes, we have, as you see, nine hundred and thirteen meters per second. Unfold the solar panels and the uh, transmitters. All right, good. Uh, and we can activate the engine as needed. Good. I'm just going to decrease our apoapsis by a little bit so that we make sure that we get out of orbit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's good enough. I want to make sure that my periapsis is on the dark side because that will mean that our apoapsis will be on the sunny side. So now I'm just testing to see... Okay, we need 524 meters per second out of 607 to be able to get into the EVE's atmosphere, perform the aerobrake, so it's just right. Not too little, not too much. Good. We will still be able to do this. Okay, so I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it Lander, EVE Science Lander. Yeah, EVE Science Lander, that's good enough for me. All right. So, uh, in order for that to happen, we, as we said, we need to deploy the relay satellite. And the relay satellite has also light and sight, which I have decided to start running because apparently we haven't conducted these experiment. However, this satellite will be going into the polar orbit, into such an inclination where it will be permanently reachable, well, almost permanently reachable from Kerbin, because we need that connection going back. We do have a lot of small satellites that could be performing, you know, the relaying. However, the one that we really need is this one, because this one will be relaying stuff back to Kerbin. It's the only one that has the dish capable of doing so. So, yeah, that's kind of important. However, all right, I am now just resetting the camera so that we have a better view of the satellite. We are waiting until we get to the correct inclination and then we will be performing the burn. And the burn will be firstly done by the main stage, the transfer stage. And once we have consumed all of its delta V, we will just leave it as a piece of space debris. Well, what can I tell you? It's hardly ideal, but that's what we have to live with in order to deploy the relay satellite, which needs to go into much tighter orbit. Yes. So, all right, the burn will be in three, two, one, and ignition. See, it's really good that we packed a lot of Delta B because this transfer stage was doing quite a lot, actually. Look at that picture. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. So, I think it's safe to say that we have consumed all the Delta B. Oh, there we go. Stage separation, perfect. And now I'm trying to figure out, yeah, extending the solar panels, good. We have the connectivity, everything is perfect. So we just need to nicely align it and then we will be performing the burn that will be, you know, circularizing its orbit in a good way. We have a total of 352 meters per second powered by the monoprop thrusters, which 
actually give it some insane amount of thrust to weight. I think it's around 30 or 50 meters, 30 uh, thrust to weight, which is just crazy. All right, so pointing the maneuver prograde, enjoying some pretty pics, yes. All right, I'm gonna be setting up the maneuver and now let's enjoy as our relay satellite transitions somewhere. Okay, let's just rename it first, yes. It's not no longer relay, it's relay, Eve main relay. <laughs> All right, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's amazing. So once when this relay gets actually settled in and we put it into the correct orbit, we will be ready for the next step. And the next step will be landing the Eve atmospheric lander, the stuff that most of you here, including myself, have been waiting for. The previous, we have already landed on EVE, how, however, that was quite unintended. We did put something through atmosphere, hoping it will, you know, survive. However, we didn't properly prepare, everything blew up and whatnot. So this time we have packed a proper heat shield and hopefully everything will be fine. Okay, the engines are on, good. See, yes. I went with six thrust to weight, it's just crazy. All right, so that put it in 1.2 by 1.1 million meters, and it looks pretty. So, I think it's a good place to wrap it up for this episode, because next one will be really exciting. We will be landing on EVE. But in order to do that, smash that like button, and at the end of this episode, I'm gonna give a link to the landing episode. Thanks for watching.